Well, first, I'm very excited to become chair uh, of the HR Policy Association. You know, it's humbling uh, to take on this role. I am excited about the opportunity. I certainly feel like it's a great time uh, to be a human resources professional and to be a chief human resources officer. It's not always an easy time, but it's a great time. And I think it's a great time because of the impact that we can have uh, and, and not only on our companies, but on our workforces and on our people. And so I'm very excited about taking on that role. When I think about the association itself, it's undergoing some important and, and timely, uh, especially as it relates to becoming the new chair, uh, work around strategy and, and also spending time making sure we're in tune with our membership. You know, we represent uh, over 400 companies. Uh, we represent really uh, world-class companies, world-class CHROs. And it's important for us to make sure, just as I, took our, I articulated our strategy and the importance of it within our company, it's also important as an HR policy association that we do that work. When I think about the social and political uh, issues that are facing our workplaces these days, that's top of mind for us. We also talked about uh, AI and technology. These are important things for us as well. So I think there's a lot of things that are going on, whether it's uh, from regulatory bodies, whether it's from our, our employees themselves, our employees and our companies expect more from HR people. We've got to elevate and continue to elevate the function and think about those social and political issues. We also have to think again, carefully around the use of technology. But the, to me, the most important thing I would say is the HR Policy Association to me is the premier organization for HR professionals and in particular CHROs. And my hope is we continue to serve our members really well, We'll, we'll have some ad additional th thoughts around our strategy. We'll probably pick up some new areas of focus in doing so. But I want us to be incredibly strong and capable in policy, which we are today, and in certain practice areas like our Center on Executive Compensation. That will remain important to our, our members and important to our purpose as, a, as a, an association. I also think it's important we continue to be the voice of the CHRO. I come into this role, one of my first priorities is to spend a lot of time listening to our membership and the CHROs. And I've done that since it's been announced until the effective date now here shortly. Uh, I've spent a lot of time listening and you always gather insights. And again, what I probably will spend more time on is accentuating all of our strengths and looking for opportunities at the same time. And that's where that strategy work that we're going through right now, I'm sure will give us a chance to prioritize what those opportunities are. It's a little early to say what they are, but I'll look forward to coming back and sharing them at the right time. You know, I think the best HR people are always thinking about the future, always trying to anticipate the future. And there's some things that we don't control very much, whether it's regulatory or legal or other uh, elements around the world that help drive uh, the workforce and the people agenda. But there are some things that I can think about now typically come to mind. One is this nature, if you want to call it the future of the workforce. This idea of how work gets done, and let's be honest, where it gets done. I think there's a lot of things that are going on. There's there's uh, some changes that happened via COVID. Uh, we have different work models. So I think the future of work needs to be top of mind as you're anticipating the future for HR professionals. The other thing I'd say, it's it, and there's a lot of unknown, there's probably more questions than there are answers, but the impact of technology, when I think of, and not just AI, but the impact of technology on our workforce, on the nature of work itself, how work gets done, where it gets done, uh, and by whom, I, I, I think it's really an important thing to pay attention to, uh, to try and do our best to plan for a future where technology is a bigger driver uh, of work, uh, and certainly more enabling of certain types of work.